Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Take video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can use the custom Rank Gun Pip module to create your custom Rank Gun apps inside of Python. Before we get started, you should have a decent knowledge of Python and how to use Python. You don't need to know too much, you just need to know the basics. And you also have to have Python 3.6 or above, and you need to have a install of Pip. Okay, so to get started, go to a text editor of your choice. In our scenario, we are in VS Code, as that's my favorite. However, you could go on wherever you want to go. Now, what we need to do is we need to open up our terminal. In VS Code, you can just click on Terminal, and then New Terminal, and we're going to have to use pip to install the Rankgun package. Okay, so if we have a look at our Rankgun docs, it shows us how we can install Rankgun. So let's refresh the page here. And it says pip install rankgon and then it loads it in and successfully installed rankgon okay so we can just copy this pip installed rankgon let's copy it then let's drag this away and head back to our terminal and then we can paste that command in here and let's press enter and now we just wait and pip will install that package for us Okay, and now everything seems to be installed, yep, successfully installed Rankgon 1.0 or 1.01. Next, we're going to have to create a Python file. And back on our docs, we have a boilerplate that is super handy if we want to get started. So let's head to Usage. And as you can see, get ready to start developing with Rankgon in Python. Remember, the only limit is your imagination. So here we can see first request. Time to make your first project, let's go on to making something in Python, yada 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 yada, Oop, all the way through here. Okay, so let's just head to the boilerplate, which we can do by clicking on this, and it takes us to this boilerplate, and as you can see, it imports the rank on package, it imports the syncio package, and then it creates a bot, and it does all of that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this snippet of code, and let's head back to VS. And then we're going to create a brand new file, you can create your brand new file, and just call it main.py or something like that. Okay, and then we just need to paste our snippet of code in here. Now I'm going to add a new line right here, and there we go, it's a bit more nicely formatted. So as you can see, it has user, password, and type, and now we need to fill out these fields. So if you remember, you must have followed the first tutorial to be able to follow this tutorial. And if you remember, we did set up our bot on the Rangon server. So what I need you to do is I need you to head over to the Rangon Discord server and then we're going to run a few commands there. Okay, so here we are inside of the Rangon Discord server. And now what we need to do is we need to say slash reconfigure. Then we run that. And as you can see, what would you like to do next? We're just going to click on credentials. And then all we need is this. So there's a username, let's copy this username, and now we're going to have to fill out the details. So if you're ever confused, you can always refer back to the docs. So let's head over to our docs, and as you can see, fields, and then free. And it shows us how we can set up a user for free. So let's just have a look. Okay, and we just put the user, the password, and then the free. Okay, so let's head back to our boilerplate, which we made in VS Code. And you can see it says user. Now, we have to remember that if we're on free, our username is a integer. So let's remove this part, and then let's paste it in our username. And then for the password, we just need to copy this. And most of you will be on free accounts, so where it says type, you just say three. Okay, and there we go, we've just configured everything. Now be careful where you're sharing this app, because if you do share those credentials with anybody, they could use your bot and use it for bad, which we do not want. And then here it says tasks here. So this is where we're going to make our Python app do things. If you're using this for a Discord bot or anything like that, this will be super handy as it is in Asyncio. So what you can do is you can just say await and then what you want to do. So all you'd have to do is import it and then you could do all of that gibberish. But here we're just doing it inside of a Python file with no other frameworks. And all we have to do is have this line which will run everything inside of here. So if we head back to our docs, we have a couple of things we can do. Here are all the classes. So we have bot, which allows us to create a new bot, with promote, which allows us to promote a user, 
It also shows us the parameters we'll have to fill. Then you can see we have demote, set rank, shout which is for elite, exile which is also only for elite. So let's try using the promote function for example. So let's just say this and up here you can see that we defined a bot and then here keep in mind it's going to show a yellow line as we didn't define bot with a capital B so we're just going to say bot dot promote oops I accidentally spelled it wrong there bot dot promote and there will be some parameters that we're going to have to pass we'll have to pass the subject that we want to promote and the subject is going to be a user ID so I'm using the cool cookies club today I know a bit of name but who cares and I'm going to pick one of the users from my group to randomly promote so let's take this guy with the nice yellow hat let's right click on him and then open link in a new tab and then let's get our user ID if you're making your own API or something like that you just need to get the user ID and we're going to double click on that we're going to right click and we're going to click copy and now we just go as user ID and then inside of promote we're just going to put his user id now let's head to the audit logs and if we look in audit log it shows us all of the actions that the bot has done and now if you see a yellow thing here where it says select interpreter you may have to select python i'm just going to use python 3.10 however you could use any version from 3.7 and above then we're just going to put that there and now hopefully if we run this file everything will work so you can click on the run button, you can right click it, I'm just going to right click and run python file in terminal and now hopefully the user will be promoted. Okay, enable terminal, okay, so this is because we haven't awaited our function. If you see this error, it's going to be super simple, just always check the last line of errors in python, they're normally the most useful and all we need to say is await, it will turn blue and then let's try running that again promoted so you can see it says promoted and now let's head back to our audit logs we'll have to refresh them and as you can see the user was promoted from a cookie fan to a super cookie fan okay that's super cool we're gonna try a few of the other functions and next we're gonna try the demo function so instead of having await bot.promote and then the user ID, let's try await bot.demo. Okay, so if we're unsure what the function is, we simply need to head to our docs. And as you can see, all we need to say is bot.demo. Okay, so let's head back to our docs and then instead of having promote, have demo. Okay, now let's try running that file. This time, let's try clicking on the play button and then let's wait a second and so now let's have another look at our audit logs so here was when the user was promoted and then if we refresh the page here was when the user was demoted and as you can see their rank was changed from super cookie fan to cookie fan okay now finally we're going to use the set rank function now if we don't know what arguments we need to pass we need to simply head over to our docs which can be found once again at the docs which I'll also leave a link in the description to which will be docs.rangon.works and now finally let's have a look for set rank that should be somewhere there here it is and we just need to pass the subject which is a integer and then the rank which is an integer so let's have a look at all of our ranks inside roblox as you can see we have a let's just head over to roles we have a cookie fan role which is rank 1 super cookie fan which is rank 2 head admin which is rank 4 and then friends which i presume is rank 222 okay and what we're going to do is we're just going to promote that user to developer which is rank 3 and then let's click on comma and then let's say 3 now let's just replace that with set rank and now if we run this everything should be working so run python file in terminal let's give it a second and hopefully rank set and once again if we head back to our audit logs yep and rank on alice change the user at same 1978 rank from cookie fan to developer and now i'm just going to manually demote that person and that's how you can use rank on inside of your python apps so thank you for tuning in to today's video, hopefully you enjoyed, 
That's all for me. If you enjoy scripting, developing, or you just like to talk about Roblox and tech in general, head over to the Cookie Forms, which is forms.thecookie.dev. And that's all for me. Make sure to follow for part one if you haven't already. And bye bye.